game nightmare. The game hosted by a video. I am the gatekeeper. To win, you must stop it. Roll the dice. The video board game nightmare. The gatekeeper talks to you. Whose turn is it now? And you must answer him. Answer me. Guess my gatekeeper. Go for it. Nightmare, a race against time for three to six very game players. Let's party! Hey everyone, Thump McCann here, and it's that time of year again. It is spooky season, where we're going to be attempting to review all the Nightmare games again. So you might be asking, uh, Fabi, didn't you try to do this, uh, before? Two years ago? Yes. Uh, there were some issues, though. Um, I was starting my job at the time, so... My new job at the time, so... I couldn't really keep a schedule where it came to uploading and filming stuff like that. I did the first two games, I think I did okay. It's just editing was the biggest night... <laughs> Ironic. The biggest nightmare to do. Um, so you might be wondering what is Nightmare. So, Nightmare or Atmosphere as it's called in Australia and the Australia as called in Europe to avoid confusion with the TV show Nightmare with a K. Uh, so in the 90s, um, they thought it was a good idea to make a bunch of video board games. So, board game you play with a VHS tape, um, where you're given a time limit. Uh, for example, like 60 minutes or something, and you have to collect a certain item and make it to a certain point on the board and pretty much try to beat the game within the time limit. Uh, Nightmare is one of those. There are a couple other ones I'm going to be showing as well. Here's the uh, Star Wars one. There's a couple of these actually. <laughs> Security check is now complete. Unseal all doors and remain vigilant. Admiral. My lord, Star Destroyer Colossus reports that the rebels are preparing to evacuate Drinbar 4. They are too late, Admiral. In 41 minutes, this battle station will be in range. And with their main supply base destroyed, the rebels shall be crippled. You seek to disable this battle station with explosive devices before I destroy your main base. Security, I want an immediate search of the outer level. You, the rebel using the force. Yes, you. Cast the die for each explosive that has been planted. If you get a two, three, or four, then the explosive has been discovered and must be removed. Repeat this until all the explosives have been dealt with. One of them, we also have Party Mania. Oh, that's right, you don't speak French. In any case, I was on my way home from the conservatory when I realized you hadn't been invited to my very prestigious dance recital tomorrow. What? You've got other plans? Oh, well, um, if, if I helped you with your chores then, would you be able to go? You would? Great! You may now get rid of two chore cards. Uh, there's also a Star Trek board game. These are the most more popular ones. You! The one who is moving now. Answer! Experience Beige. Malfunction. This Federation computer is as frustrating as a Ferengi. You may get assistance from these low-level computer defects, but I still maintain all computer control over navigation and weapon systems. Um, yeah, so basically my plan is to do maybe one a week or something. I'm going to try to cover the main four games. Maybe we'll cover the extra ones because there are... I have... 
on the first four, I have Atmosphere of the Harbingers, I have Soul Rider the Expansion, I have the DVD game, and I have the uh, phone game, which is pretty much the same thing. I don't have the bonus tapes, I don't have the Kufu game, because those aren't in the U.S. Now, we will be reviewing these, and I will be doing these differently than I did them last time. So, I will be covering the game, the board game itself, and I'll be talking about the video. Not going back and forth like I did last time, which was the biggest problem with the video. So, I hope you enjoyed this little bit intro, I guess, to what the hell we're doing. This is probably really bad. Uh, so, see you guys for the first episode of Nightmare Reviews. There, guys.